Half-Life 2 is pretty well known for not having any cutscenes. From the start of the game to the end, every step you take is your own, and aside for one major teleportation sequence, your journey is largely unbroken. Now if you're like me, and you've thought about this game way too much for any healthy human being, you've probably also wondered how far Gordon even travels in Half-Life 2. I mean, that boat ride was pretty dang long, and how could a human even survive this long without food or water, or like, going to the bathroom or anything? So I set out to find the answer myself. After all, the subject makes for a decently mediocre YouTube video, and it kind of sounds like that one thing I made recently, which got really popular, so all the more reason to find this one out once and for all. Very soon in, however, I realized that this was a far, far harder question to answer than I had anticipated. Entirely because there's no in-universe scale for us to base our measurements off, with the only real exception being this height marker at the start of the game, but eh. So no matter what we do, no measurement we can take can be considered quote-unquote lore accurate. Or even close to lore accurate. Because like, what if this MP7, which is 25 inches long in the real world, is just like, 4 trillion meters long in the Half-Life universe, and everything else is just really, really, really big, including Gordon. We can't really appeal to proportions either, because, oh god, Half-Life 2's proportions are just... Yeah... That's... that's a pretty big problem, I'm not gonna lie to you. But even though we can't get our ideal answer to this question, there is still one thing we can try. Half-Life 2's level editor, Hammer, has its own set of distance units, each of which consists of about 1% of a meter. As mentioned before, this scale isn't really held up for all objects in-game, including some props and especially player models, but it can still give us a very rough idea of the distance we travel in-game. We're also just going to simplify the distance traveled to just 1 to 4 vectors per map. For some, this will work just fine, but in other maps, yeah, it's not going to work quite as well. As mentioned before though, this is just a rough calculation, so it doesn't matter too much. It's just something to keep in mind if you go about doing this process yourself, even though you really shouldn't because it is a waste of time. From the start of the game to Black Mesa East, you travel about six and a half kilometers, or four miles. Obviously, the majority of this time is added once you get into the airboat. Then in Ravenholm, you only travel about three-fourths of a kilometer across the entire town. Something interesting about Ravenholm is that the majority of it wraps back in on itself, so much of the distance you travel doesn't really matter. Then after Ravenholm, we have the coast. During the coast, you travel about 5 kilometers, which is pretty close to the distance between the start of the game to Black Mesa East, but not quite as much. Just like in Ravenholm, once you reach Nova Prospect, you start moving a lot slower, and you only travel about another 3 fourths of a kilometer. Then you get teleported back to City 17, this distance is not counted, and you travel another 3 kilometers until you make it to the end of the game. Overall, that leaves us with about 16.5 kilometers over the course of 3 days. Cool, but could Gordon actually survive this? Unfortunately, probably not. Over the course of the game, we see about three days pass, which is right at the expected time a human can survive without water. Considering how much Gordon exerts himself over the course of these three days though, his chances of survival certainly aren't looking good. However, if we assumed that that suit was just injecting him with fluid, he actually would probably make the whole journey. In 2005, Dean Karnazes, that's how you pronounce it, right? Anyway, Dean Karnazes ran 350 miles in just over three days, and that was without any sleep whatsoever. So ultimately, it's up to you and your head cannon to figure out how realistic it is. Anyways, that's uh, all I've got for you, so goodbye.